Hey guys, I'm John Maxwell, and this is Next Level Fishing and Camping. Welcome to the show, and I'm telling you, I am fired up today. Why? Because we are on one of the lakes that I fell in love with last year. I got to fish it one day last year and absolutely fell in love with it. And it's lakes like this one and a few other lakes that got me thinking, you know what, people need to put more information about these lakes out there. Where am I at? I am in Reclaw, Texas, home of Lake Striker. And Lake Striker is unique for a couple of reasons. It's a small lake. One of the reasons it's unique is because of the Lake Striker Marina. It offers camping, it has hotel rooms, it has cabins. If you camp in a tent, it has showers. And there's a couple other things that make it unique, and I'll show you those later on. Another thing that makes it unique is the Striker Power Plant behind me. Last year when we were here, we found the, outer wa the, the water outlet for the hot water and the bass were boiling in it. And we had more fun catching those bass than ought to be allowed by law. It got me thinking, if I had a young kid, somebody that was fishing, I was trying to teach with plastics, and I wanted to boost their confidence, I'd bring them here. And I'd teach them to throw plastics and, uh, where the, I knew they'd catch some fish. Or if I had a technique that I wanted to learn of. Now, what they're telling me now since we've been back is this thing doesn't run all the time. So we'll try to find out some information, find some information, see if we can figure out how to tell when it's running or not. So, we're going to unload the boat. We're going to, get some, we're going to do some facts on the lake. And then we're going to go fishing. See you in a few minutes. All right. I told you there was a couple things that was unique about this marina that set it apart from the other marinas. One of them is the Lake Striker Restaurant. Right by the water, it serves steaks, seafood, catfish, has a nice environment, and the steaks are out of this world. So, if you've got a, a girlfriend or you and your wife are out here camping, at the end of the day, pull up, eat like a king. That's just one. But there's something else coming that sets this marina apart from others. Lake Striker offers a uh, marina offers a various ways for you to stay and enjoy the lake for the weekend. He has six hotel rooms, three cabins, twenty-something RV hookups, and he's got tents. You can also uh, he's got uh, tents. You can also tent pitch a tent under the trees. There is electricity over there. He has showers behind the restaurant if you camp in a tent where you can take a shower. Lake Striker Marina offers just about everything. This lake, for a small lake, offers just about everything. You have a power plant with a hot water output. There's houses on this lake where you can fish around boat houses and different structures. And there's also timber and grass along the shores of this lake. But there's still one thing we haven't sent, showed you. The big thing that Lake Striker Marina offers, and we're gonna show you that later on. But now, we're fixing to get in the boat and go fishing. Okay guys, here's some facts about Lake Striker. Lake Striker was impounded in 1957 with a surface area of 1,863 acres. Maximum depth, 35 foot. Location. Rec Law, Texas, which is 20 miles east of Jacksonville, Texas. Fluctuation, one to two foot annually. Normal clarity, moderately turbid. And the Lake Authority is the Angelina Nacogdoches County Water Control. For further questions and information on Lake Striker, you can call 903-854-4559. The shoreline is made up of timber, grass, boathouses, docks, and also has a power plant water outlet. Bass fishing on Lake Striker, the state rating is fair. The lake record is 11.10 pounds to, with 26 and a half inches. There is no slot on Lake Striker, but they have a 14 inch minimum length daily limit of five. As far as crappie fishing on Lake Striker, they have a state rating of fair. I could find no records 
indicating any kind of weight record for crappie. Keepers for crappie on Lake Striker are minimum of 10 inches with a daily limit of 25. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is the uh, output to the Lake Strike power plant. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've been battling a cold for a couple of weeks. But uh, when we were here the first time last year, this whole area in here was just boiling with bass. And we came in here and called to you and then had to leave. The, what we found out today is that the power plant runs off and on they don't run they don't generate power all the time so uh with that said you know if you fish lake striker you might want to come check this one out right here and see what it's like and see if you can get some fish out of here we're fixing to fish it anyway and see if we can't catch something I knew he was there. There we go. Come to daddy. Finally. Whoop, whoop. Woo. Let me get a quick picture of why you. Yeah. Yeah, I got took two. Is it on? Yeah, but it's a smaller one. All right. Oh, a baby. Fish number two. You want a picture? Yeah. Fish number two of the day. We're about five foot, five foot of water, 63, de 63 degrees, and we'll mark it like we did last time when we did Lake Crockett. I'll take a picture of the lake, mark the area that we're fishing. Uh, try to get you some more info and stuff like that. This is the first time I've ever used these baits. And it seems to be working pretty good. They're smaller fish. They're sm biting the smaller baits. Uh, I lost one a while ago and he put one of the tentacles off. Now I'm still going to use this see we see what happens. Well guys, here it is. Not only do they have the restaurant, the place to stay, the fishing, they got live music on the weekend. You come out here, you take your girlfriend for a fishing date, get her a nice steak dinner, and get a trainer to live music. Nothing like it. This, this is John Maxwell, next level fishing. striker didn't go as good as we thought we had a little problem the end of the first day with the boat the coupling in the crop went out so we didn't get to fish it for two days like we used to, like we'd like to do uh, I've also decided that at the end of each, each video I'm gonna close it I'm gonna have some closing notes about the lake that we fished on and these are things that we didn't get answers to when we were down there and we can uh, maybe get some answers when we get back to the house and put them on the end of the video and let you know what our experience was and everything. So with that said, here we go. Uh, we fished Lake Striker last year and had a good time doing it. Uh, last year we fished it for one day 
and the power plant was running and we found it towards the end of the day the output for the power plant and we had a blast fishing there I think we caught one or two fish and when we did find the outlet the water outlet to the power plant we the fish were boiling in it. I mean, they were rolling over. It looked like a white water rabbits type deal. And we had a blast. Uh, this year we went back and we found out that the power plant doesn't run all the time. They fired this power plant up, the striker power plant, when they need more electricity. So it's kind of a hit and miss deal there. I could not find a number to find out when they were going to be producing power there that may help you out. You may can call the Lake Striker Marina uh, to find out, and we'll give you some uh, we'll give you some contact information on that here in a few minutes. Uh, this year when we went, we did find out apparently crappie is king on the Lake Striker. There were a lot of people down there fishing uh, off their own private boat docks and boat houses using minnows to fish for crappie. Uh, Lake Striker has a pier on it with a big Texas flag, and there were a lot of people there fishing with minnows and catching crappie. The bass fishing is not that great. If you're going down there and expecting to catch a lot of big bass, don't expect that. Um, we did catch a few small ones. That's all we've ever caught there. And I even caught a crappie on a spinner bait. It was a chartreuse and white spinner bait. It had Colorado leaves on it, and one leaf was gold, the other was silver. I did find out that if you are going to bass fish, early morning with frogs is the best time to do that. And the lake record is 11 pounds, and I've talked to a couple people that have pulled out some 8 pounders out of the lake. But they're going down there with frog fishing early in the morning to catch those. The water's very muddy down there. It's some of the muddiest water I've ever seen. So be prepared for that. The saving grace of Lake Striker is the Lake Striker Marina. And I really can't say enough good things about the Lake Striker Marina. Uh, the one drawback to the marina is that the restaurant does not open up until about 11. So if you're going to go down there and go fishing, you uh, probably are going to have to go. The closest place I found is Mount Enterprise, which is 15 miles away from Lake Striker to get a good morning breakfast. So if you go down there and you rent a room, you bring a tent, camper, uh, you rent a cabin, better bring some breakfast or be ready to drive at least 15 miles. If there's a place closer, you can call Lake Strike Marina and they may be able to give you some information on that. If it wasn't for the marina, I would not be going back. They've got a campground and it is a well-kept campground. It has electrical hookups and water hookups. Uh, if you're going to camp in a tent, they have showers down there and they also have a washeteria down there for washing clothes and stuff. Uh, they have cabins, they have rooms, the, the restaurant down there, the, the food's great. Uh, the restaurant does not open up to 11 o'clock, the staff down there was great, uh, very, very friendly, the atmosphere was great, it was very relaxing. Uh, Terry had a chicken fried steak, said it was the best chicken fried steak she'd ever had, and I had a... Um, Hamburger steak and the hamburger steak was very, very good. Like I said, they've also got a fishing pier down there, and there were a lot of fish people fishing off uh, the concert that we saw. That put it over the top for me. I will be going back to Lake Striker. Um, I'll be prepared more for crappie fishing than bass fishing. Hopefully, we can get more than one day on the water and explore some more. They have a crawdad boil down there. The restaurant has crawdads. They cook. You can get all the trimmings. Uh, the restaurant closes, I think, about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. But you can pre-order your crawdads. You can go down there, camp, fish, eat some good food. And then you can enjoy a nice concert. And the band they had there that day was, was pretty good. And they've had some uh, very big name bands, uh, good bands, you know, Jason Boland has played there, Cody Canada, Charlie Daniels, the Bellamy Brothers, there's a wall with uh, posters on the Lake Striker restaurant of all the bands that have played there, and I looked 
on the Lake Striker Facebook and uh, page before I before I started this uh, closing notes. And he's looking at getting John Conley down there or the Confederate Railroad. He had put on Facebook, which of these two would you rather see? If he gets the Confederate Railroad, look for me to be there. Uh, as far as the marina goes and contact information, uh, the Lake Strike Marina, the phone number is 903-854-2505. Uh, the location is 18560 County Road 4256 South at Rec Law, Texas. Uh, they also have a Facebook. The uh, owner of, of the marina told me he doesn't update his web page as much but he does he is constantly updating on Facebook and so you can go to Facebook Adam and like them at Lake Striker RV Park Restaurant in Marina. I'm telling you uh, if you know for some if you were like me and you were into the uh, camping and the fishing and you were more of a um, recreational type lifestyle want to get away from everything just enjoy the sights you cannot do better than the Lake Striker Marina as far as a relaxing time. Now, do me a favor. Leave a comment down below if about the information that we're providing you. If you like the information, if we're getting the information you need, I would like to know. Also, like and subscribe. Uh, hit the like button on this video if you like it. And subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers we have, the better the benefits are at YouTube, the more they let us do, and it really helps this channel out as far as benefits. Other than that, this is John Maxwell, a.k.a. Papa John, with Next Level Fishing and Camping, and I truly hope we are helping you take your game to the next level.